จมเรียบสู้ปริมาณกัญญาหนังสบายจิตกรุบรอบอ่านทั้งนี้คือจีการเมธีได้ยื่นเรียบจำล้างนำใบสวากุมติวินเดรีอัตราจิตในขนมชนามปีปอมอภัยปีวัตเมียนระบบเนื้อกติยูระบบเยื่อมีนเตอร์ตามพนักได้ยื่นบันอันเจิญโจรุ่นในขนมการเมธีสำหรับทั้งนี้ยื่นมีนพนิยกติยูมวยรุกได้อันเจิญปีแขงสถานตูดอันเดียประจำในขนมปฏิกรรมปุจีระบบเยื่อบันติดเตี้ยลูกจมเตี้ยวนั่งจมเรียบจูนอัมปีบันปีสาวการเงี้ยการศึกษาก็โดยเจียการเลือกตั้งจัดตัดสตรีในขนมการโจรวมขนมเพียบชนะดักนอมอันนี้ยาสมานสวากุมลูกจมเตี้ยวแต่มาดองจมเตี้ยวสู้ลูกจมเตี้ยวแต่ and welcome to the show and thank you so much for joining us today yeah สมอันนี้ยาจมเรียบจูนท่าลูกจมเตี้ยววิจามันดิดเดบยานี้โคปราการ์เดคือจีไออาเกะรอตตุดในโปรเตอันเดียประจำประหลิจินจักกัมพูชี and the first question You can uh, briefly us about the, um, your study and uh, working, current working to the audience as well. Jum Ripsul, to your audience as well. Uh, thank you, first of all, for inviting me to Sabai and to Kanya. I'm really happy to be here today. Uh, about my background, uh, let me start from my parents. My parents uh, came from a very uh, poor family and my grandfather was a farmer and he was trying very hard to send my father to school. He had to sell his uh, wife's jewelry and uh, because my father was very intelligent, he made sure that he gave him an education and uh, so was my mother. Both of them struggled a lot in the beginning uh, when we were young kids and then my father became a secretary of state and uh, it's because of both of them that uh, I'm here today. I became a doctor because my mother wanted to be a doctor, but she could not. They did not have the money. So then uh, she had to get married and she had me when, I, when she was 18 years old. And so to fulfill her dream, I first became a doctor. And then later I realized that I was much more inclined towards uh, government and public service because I always felt that I needed to work on a broader canvas. I needed to reach out to more people mm -hmm. and to uh, make my uh, mark on a bigger section of society than I would do as a doctor. Yeah. And so I decided to take the civil services and I became a diplomat. Uh, it was always my passion to travel, to learn new languages, to experience different cultures and I felt that I could relate very well to people of different uh, walks of life and different societies and therefore I felt I should become a diplomat. Uh, as a diplomat I have been working for 22 years now and uh, my journey has taken me fr from various uh, parts of the world now to Cambodia. Uh, I started my career in Germany and uh, then I went on to the neighborhood in Pakistan. I was also in Italy, in Rome, and then I went to New York. I have spent many years in uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, which is called the Ministry of External Affairs in New Delhi. And I have worked in different capacities looking after uh, many things such as uh, you know cultural and heritage diplomacy work finance of the ministry looking after consular and passport and visa related matters and of course political relations with different countries yeah. uh, in cambodia my work involves looking after the relationship between Cam cambodia and india whether it is political relations or people to people contact, increasing people to people connect, yeah. um, encouraging businesses to go from both places to both countries and uh, of course also looking after our cultural heritage, our joint cultural heritage. As uh, you may be aware, India was the first country to recognize Cambodia after the Khmer Rouge uh, regime uh, was dismantled. And then also uh, we started uh, doing the 
cultural and heritage restoration work of Angkor Wat after the Khmer Rouge uh, regime fell and we were the first country to come back to take this uh, special project which we feel is a testimony of our uh, you know long standing relations our ancient ties our ancient cultural ties uh, here uh, i see uh, you know in every aspect of life i see indian imprint uh, whether it is the food whether it is language whether it is the dress and the names, mm -hmm. they all sound familiar to me because of our common heritage. Yeah. So that's how, that's my background and yeah. my work in short. Yes, and thank you so much for your uh, introduction. Uh, the second question and refer to the, um, our topic that we are discuss today, mm -hmm. um, women leader inspire positive change mm -hmm. uh, for family and society. អឺលោកមីអ៊ិនទៅយូសអ៊ីនខ្មែរអឺប្រទេសបាត់ថ្ងៃនេះយើងនឹងជាចេកពិភាក្សាទៅលើអឺស្ត្រីក្នុងភា
uh, and also make us aware not just of uh, women and the problems they face, mm -hmm. but anybody who is uh, marginalized or a minority, mm -hmm. we would be more sensitive to their problems because we can see those problems uh, as, uh, you know, experiencing women, experiencing womanhood, experiencing growing up as a woman and a girl. Yes. So I feel that it's important for women leaders to take their responsibility towards uh, women's leadership uh, and women's growth seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, just as of course men have to, but we, have, we, bear, an, mm, we bear an additional responsibility. Okay. So, um, as the diploma um, woman in um, uh, this role, you always busy on their work. So, um, how is the you can maintain your um, schedule with your work-life balance? Mm -hmm. Because as I um, saw on the uh, embassy website, you have two daughters. Mm -hmm. So how you can uh, maintain the schedule with them and uh, have enough time? It mean refer to the work-life balance as well. Uh, thank you for asking that very important question. Uh, we, you know, in some professions, uh, it's more difficult for uh, women to maintain a work-life balance. And uh, doctors and diplomats all of these uh, roles are very difficult, especially uh, for women. And, uh, but that should not keep you away from taking up professions which require more effort towards uh, work-life balance. Mm -hmm. If that is the profession you want to take up, please do not shy away from taking up that profession. Instead, you need to demand more help mm -hmm. from the family, from society, and uh, from your loved ones, especially your partner. Because uh, as women, uh, we anyways uh, have, whether you're a working woman, the responsibility of the household primarily is considered to be your responsibility. And therefore, you must make it very clear to your family and to your bosses and to your uh, you know, colleagues that you, you do have, uh, you know, you have ambitions, mm -hmm. you are very dedicated to your work, but you do have family as well and do not shy away from, you know, taking time off to be with your family and uh, feel confident, you know, don't feel uh, negative about it that, oh my God, I will be considered as uh, a work shirker if I am seen to be, you know, going away to take my child on a uh, for a school appointment or a dental appointment no you can come back and work later in in the evening and you can always prove your dedication somehow you know so but so a we don't need to be defensive about uh, spending time uh, with our families and doing things for them and b we need to demand that kind of flexibility and that kind of uh, you know support that we need from our families and our organizations. Mm -hmm. So, because it's not just the responsibility of the woman, uh, it is the responsibility of the entire institution, the institution of family, the institution of society, the institution of your workplace, to make sure that women enter workforce and uh, to give them more uh, leeway when it comes to managing a work-life balance. Mm -hmm. The third thing I would say is that do not dedicate yourself completely to only your work and children and family. Please give time to yourself. Yes. Because only when you can try and, you know, do something that you enjoy by yourself, like I do meditation, I do yoga, and uh, initially I used to feel guilty about taking time for myself, but then I decided it's all right, because yes. otherwise you kill yourself and you don't you know, you don't nourish yourself and then you cannot give back more. You do need to have that energy and you, you need to feel fulfilled. And one day, of course, children will also, you know, mm -hmm. grow up and go mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. One day your job will go away yes. and what you have is yourself. And what you can, you know, give back at that time yes. is uh, if you have 
nourished yourself, if you have made yourself into a well-rounded individual, I can for example uh, take meditation lessons and give yoga lessons when I retire and give back to the society in some other way. But uh, so that's why I feel it's very important that you also give time to yourself and uh, do that without feeling guilty, without feeling defensive and demand more help. Yes, thank you. អឺសម្ដូរដែលខ្ញុំបានសួរគឺតាក់ទងទៅនឹងអឺសម្ដូរដែលខ្ញុំបានសួរគឺតាក់ទងថាការងារដែលពាក់ព័ន្ធទៅ
are usually uh, put on women mm -hmm. and uh, do what you love so that you can put your heart into it. Yeah. Uh, this point is uh, referred to uh, the women can do everything as you mm. mentioned. Uh, so this point uh, we want to encourage the women in the leadership role mm -hmm. and then we can work with the uh, men as the partner yes. to develop um, the society as well. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's not mean, oh, I'm a woman and work only my team or something like that. Yes, yeah. that's true. There should not be a confrontative attitude, you know, yeah. between men and women. But asserting your woman, uh, you know, your position as a woman uh, can be uh, tricky and uh, can be difficult but and you have to navigate that uh, you know very very uh, very deftly but it should never be seen as you are you know you have a fight against men uh, because you don't you know men are your equal partners uh, there are many men who are very uh, very positive towards uh, women's uh, empowerment uh, my husband is one of them and uh, I feel that he's more of a feminist than I am and uh, so those you have to make partners with and the others you have to negotiate with. Yes. Thank you so much, Her Excellency. And uh, we have one more last question mm. and uh, we would you give us the um, inspiration message to mm. all the women, especially uh, the young women to uh, celebrate the Women, um, International Women Day for this year? Uh, what I would say is that uh, do not set a low bar for yourself. You know, set a very high standard for yourself. Because uh, as women, we are not encouraged to be very ambitious. And I'm always surprised how low we set our own bar. Even though we may be very intelligent, very smart, we don't feel confident that, oh, I can, I can do this, you know, I can reach there. Mm. We always, uh, are, we think, okay, maybe if you want to be a doctor, mm -hmm. you might say, oh, no, I don't know if I can do that. Maybe I should just become a nurse and that should be okay. Keep checking. Are you putting your bar low because you are not you know, encouraged enough by society. Uh, it's true that most women are not asked by uh, their families and their friends to set their, set the bar high for themselves, so they have to do it themselves. And uh, so don't, as I said earlier, don't let societal, uh, you know, constraints uh, pull you down. Many people used to tell me when I joined diplomacy, oh, that you will go from country to country. How will you mm -hmm. get married? And I was, uh, I would answer them that I'm sure that, you know, if somebody I like mm -hmm. uh, and he likes me, then we will get married. But that is not the primary concern. The primary concern is that I achieve my dreams and then, uh, you know, marriage and partnership will come along. Yes. And thankfully, my parents supported me. Mm -hmm. Although they did not encourage me in, in, you know, to become a diplomat right from the beginning, they wanted me to become a doctor, a very conservative <laughs> and, uh, you know, very, uh, very respectable job. And, uh, but when I decided to become a diplomat, uh, they, were, they said, go for it. But mm -hmm. not many parents, not many girls may have that okay. uh, kind of support. But they have to build that support within themselves. So okay. feel confident, be confident about yourself. It's confidence that matters in the end, and it's not easy. I was not confident at all when I started, when I began, but I was always a little risk taker, mm -hmm. you know, and I always wanted to try something new. So that's why I have reached where I have reached, and I would encourage you. It's not been easy. It will never be easy, but yes, hard work and confidence and keeping a bar high for yourself, setting a high bar for yourself. These are the messages that I would leave you with. And have a very happy Women's Day and come and visit India someday. Thank you. Arkunchan. 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 No jim tiêu. Ja hay xâm chụp bực chôn phong đại tha ca phê phê xa đã bỏ chứng tại lưu bật thiên đập bọn nâng nông thang này. Đại dương ban mở đo tị mật chọc 
ประเทศบอลในทั้งนี้นิ่งยมสมจมเย็บจูนมาดองติดคือยังจะใจไปเพื่อซาเตลประเทศบอลสตรายขนมเพชรเนื้อดักน้อมจมร้อนกาปลับโลจูเวจิมีนดำใบกระมุกรสานังสังคมให้ก็สมออกุนลงจมติวจิตไม่มาดองติดได้จำนายไปดอมไม่นำไล่ thank you so much ดำใบจ่ายดำแรกนื้อบอดพิซาอัดกับโดจีกาสักซาหนังกางี้ให้นางซาเลือดตึกจัดจิตจ้างเตะดาวทุสนิกจนสำหรับการเป็นที่ดอกบัวเยอะนำใบเรียบจำในขนมกาอบอที่เวียนในรีอันตรจิตสำหรับชนำปีปอมมาภายปีนี้นั่นเป็นนิสัยขยมรวมจมูกนางพยุกระดูกจูบอกเยอะคือลูกจมติ้วให้นางกรมการนี้สมกุลสมจมเด็ดเลย